good morning so in the last session so we discussed about time temperature transformation diagram so why it is called a transformation diagram because this diagram represents the time and temperature dependence of uh, austenite to perlite transformation and we have seen that in addition to the perlite frames formed if you cool down to lower temperature another phase that is bainite is formed and then uh, finally if you quench down to a very very low temperature we will get another phase called a martensite now let's today uh, uh, going to discuss about another important uh, diagram called a continuous cooling transformation diagram before that let's look into the uses of the uh, isothermal transformation diagram or ttt diagram now the time temperature transformation diagram it gives you information about or it indicates the phase of existing in steel of a specific composition at various temperatures and time that's the advantage of ttt diagram so we will be able to uh, investigate the information of the phases existing in steel of a specific composition at various temperatures and times and also this ttt diagram helps in selecting su suitable cooling cycle to obtain the desired microstructure so this is one of the challenging task in many of the metallurgy industries to select a suitable cooling cycle which is required for uh, the required properties so we um, the uh, metallurgist have a uh, set of desired properties according to that uh, they need to tailor the microstructure and for that what they ultimately need to do is select the cooling cycle so the ttt diagram helps in selecting suitable cooling cycle to obtain the desired microstructure and then desired properties so in the time temperature transformation diagram um so we have seen that while especially while discussing the formation of martensite so we, we so the, the uh, details in the diagram were discussed based on we are quenching to a constant temperature or we are cooling to a constant temperature so in on that basis we discussed the ttt diagram but in if you take any of the metallurgical industries natural practice the steel is rarely quenched to a constant temperature or and isothermally transformed but then what it is doing but it is continuously cooled from austenitic range to room, room temperature following different cooling rates so that is what is actually happening continuously cooled from the austenitic range to room temperature following different cooling rates so the continuous cooling transformation diagram from that uh, we can see all this information the continuous cooling transformation diagram shows the relationship between transformation temperature and time during continuous cooling so that is a point we need to remember here we are doing continuous cooling so we get the information of transformation temperature and time during continuous cooling so for continuous cooling the time required for the reaction to begin and the end is delayed compare with the ttt diagram uh, so the cases we discussed in the last session so the time required for the reaction to begin and the end is delayed now let i can show you uh, the cct diagram uh, for a eutectoid steel is shown in this slide you can see this is a continuous cooling transformation diagram likewise what we saw in the case of uh, ttt diagram here also you can see uh, the eutectoid temperature line you can see you can see the uh, perlite transformed you can see the austenite or the perlite begin and the perlite finishes that's austenite and perlite respectively and here uh, we have also uh, also plotted the isothermal transformation curve you can see the dashed lines the dashed lines in this diagram represents the isothermal transformation curve whereas the continuous solid lines indicates the continuous cooling transformation curves now so from this image uh, it is very clear that 
the time required for a reaction to begin and end is delayed in the case of continuous cooling. So it is reflected in the continuous cooling curve. Okay. So what is the two curves? As I told you in the last session, uh, one curve on the left side shows the polarized transformation begins and the right side curve shows the polarized transformation ends. So the transformation on continuous cooling. So that is a point of discussion in this slide. So the transformation on continuous cooling starts at lower temperature and longer times. It takes longer times as compared to isothermal transformation. And here also you can see the M, S, M50 and M90 lines. That is a Martin side start line, formation starts line, 50 percentage conversion line and 90 percentage conversion line. You can see these informations. Now uh, look at the next curve. Here the um, cooling curves are superimposed. Uh, I mean uh, different cooling rate curves you can see. You, uh, if you look at this uh, different cooling rates you can see that the cooling rate is low. Different curves like P, Q, R as you can see. So this cooling curves is superimposed into the previous curve. So the, uh, the previous curve is there, I mean the polarized tran uh, transformation begin curve, that is austenite, polarized transformation ends, that is polarized, that is a right side continuous curve, I mean this curve, polarized transformation begin curve and end curve, this is actually nothing but the, what we shown in this slide, okay. So here the cooling rates curves are superimposed. So uh, the P, Q, R is different cooling rates you can see, cooling rate is very slow in curve P, you can see that. 0 0.01 degrees Celsius per second and if you do so what will be obtained you will get a coarse polarized structure if we cool at 0 0.01 degrees Celsius per second and if you are going to cool at 3 degrees Celsius per second and then you will get 100 percentage fine polarized structure and if the cooling rate is further increased to 35 degrees Celsius per second and that also leads to fine percentage, I mean sorry, 100% uh, percentage fine perlite. So, so it's 35 degrees Celsius per second, you can see that 100% uh, percentage fine perlite is formed and in, if you look at this uh, cooling rate line, you can see that this is a limiting rate for or this is the end point of complete polar transformation. And if you see, if I am going to increase further the cooling rate to 140 degrees Celsius per second, the curve S represents that. But you can see that that curve, this one, it just misses the polar start curve and does not enter into the polar or bainite regions. And what will happen if we do so? We, if, so what, what does this uh, cooling represents? It's a faster cooling. Right? Rapid cooling is the product will be martensite. You know that. Okay, if we rapidly cool, so the product will be martensite. So the asne transformed complete to martensite on crossing this MS line at 140 degrees Celsius per second. So it does not enter into perlite or bainite regions. And this cooling rate is called a critical cooling rate which must be exceeded to obtain full hardening of the steel. Now, in between 35 to 140 degrees Celsius, I mean this is a 35 degrees Celsius per second to 140 degrees Celsius per second, and you can see that the cooling, rate, cooling curve crosses the perlite start curve, but it does not the perlite finish curve. So what will what we can in, infer from this only a portion of the austenite is transformed to uh, perlite. Okay, and small portion of the austenite is transformed to bainite, and the remaining transforms to martensite on crossing the MS line shown in this image. Now the TTT diagram and CCT diagrams are. Uh, experimentally determined for an alloy of a specific composition with variables temperature and type. So time temperature transformation curve and continuous cooling transformation curve. 
okay so what uh, what is the usefulness of this diagram here also it is useful in predicting the microstructure after some period of time upon retaining at a constant temperature continuously or uh, for uh, especially um, this diagram is helpful in predicting the properties of uh, when it is, when the alloy is subjected to heat treatments so i hope you understand what is cct diagram and ttt diagram Thank <laughs> you.